Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Exhibition dedicated to Armenian heritage, the Sixth Summer University. Azerbaijan showed another manifestation of cynicism by presenting Yerevan's anthem, Statement of Gerard Foundation. The 26th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. The issues related to forcibly displaced persons from Artsakh are in the center of parliamentarian attention. The sons of Western Armenia, Arshil Gorgi. Shalaz Navur and Yervan Kochar silver commemorative coins were minted. The French Armenian family donated to Martin Adoran the copy of the first printed Armenian Bible. The National Council of Western Armenia will organize the Sixth Summer University dedicated to the preservation and development of Armenian heritage. The event will take place on 8 September at the Armenian Church of Notre Dame de Narek in Lyon, 7 Rue Dollard 69100, Villarbonne, France, Republic Villarbonne Metro. This year, the basic theme of the Summer University is protection of Armenian interest in the United Nations. The purpose of the event is to discuss the international protection of Armenian issues and strengthen the voice of Armenian communities on international stage. The event will begin with the solemn opening ceremony, where the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, and the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, will be present. Martin Simonian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, and Guillermo Karamanian, Ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to Argentina, will join them. The speakers will summarize the challenges and successes of protecting the rights of the Armenian people. Western Armenian population has been deprived of their land, schools, and universities for more than a century, have the right to educate its population, which is in exile and under the yoke, by preserving its traditions, property, and rights. Guests will participate in the closing ceremony of the meeting, enjoying a buffet and refreshments. This event once again emphasizes the importance of the protecting the heritage and rights of the people of Western Armenia. For more than a century, Armenians have been deprived of their land, schools and universities, but their desire to educate and preserve their traditions and culture remains unbroken. Admission is free. Everyone is invited to attend this important event, which aims to raise the international visibility of Armenian issues and unite Armenian communities. The Gerhard Scientific and Analytical Foundation condemns and considers unacceptable the preparation and distribution of an Azerbaijani or Turkish anthem about Yerevan, the capital of the Republic of Eastern Armenia. The ambitions of the Aliyev regime towards the territory of the Republic of Armenia are continuously growing. Recently, the state anthem of the Turkish Republic of Yerevan was published according to their false definition, the content of which is about liberating Yerevan from foreign hands and returning it back. Such false statement, Baku continues to spread. The author of the national anthem is Azerbaijan national artist composer Javan Shir Guliev, who, as he says, is one of the favorites of Ilham Aliyevs and in the last presidential elections supported him. Guliev received an order to write anthem late in 2021. It is not worthy that the building of the State Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet of Azerbaijan, where the creation was played, was designed by the Armenian architect Nikolai Baev, and it once belonged to the Maelian brothers, stated the Foundation's release. Gerard Scientific Analytical Foundation condemns Azerbaijan's policy towards the Republic of Eastern Armenia. On 12 August, the 26th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, made a speech of welcome and congratulated the participants of the session on properly organizing the event dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the Treaty of Severus. Then President Harmina Abrahamian continued the session. He spoke about the annual field festival organized by the Armenian group Riviera in France, emphasizing the importance and symbolic nature of that event, especially mentioning the symbol of Hajkar. Ms. Margosyan, in her speech, appreciated the organization of such cultural events, emphasizing that the spread of our cultural values are very important. President Armenak Abrahamian, in turn, once again reminded about the summer university to be held on 8 September. He noted that it is planned to the support of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Mr. President also referred to the importance of the Medal of Komitas. 
The scope of regulation of the Standing Committee on Labor and Social Affairs of the National Assembly of Eastern Armenia is wide and multi-content. There are many problems and things to be done, so the effective work of the committee was required during the last session. The issues related to employment and professional orientation, employees and employers, persons with disabilities, the elderly children, compatriots forcibly displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh were in the center of the attention of the senior committee. Summarizing the work of the last session, the um, chairman of the commission, Herik Nas Tigranyan, highlighted the legislative executive cooperation as a result of which it is possible to eliminate the existing problems in law enforcement practice. Arshil Gorky, real name Vostanik Manuk Adoyan, was born in Western Armenia. The exact year of his birth is not yet known yet, but it is confirmed that he was born in the period between 1902 or 1904. In his youth, Adoyan witnessed the genocide, as a result of which his mother died of starvation. Deprived of his parents, Vostanik moved to the United States and took a new name of himself, making the beginning of a new stage of life. However, the horrific memories of his youth haunted him throughout his life, greatly defining his art. After entering the art school, Gorky became famous. His works began to appear in many exhibitions. Despite the strong influence of Pablo Picasso and Paul Cezanne, Gorky soon developed an individual style among the best painters of his time, which later provided him a place among the best painters of his time. New York, where Gorky lived in recent years, has become the center of American and world art. Here, for the first time, Gorky communicated with the Dutch artist William de Kooning and sometimes entered into a debate with Jackson Pollock. On 15 August 2024, the Republic of Armenia Central Bank will put into circulation silver commemorative coins for Shal Aznavur's 100th birthday and Yervan Kuchar's 125th birthday. The information was reported by the press service of the Central Bank. The adverse site of the commemorative coin of famous French Armenian singer songwriters Charles Aznavour shows the Order of the Fatherland, awarded to Aznavour in the background of the symbol of eternity. On the reverse is the portrait of Charles Aznavour, again in the background of the symbol of eternity, as well as the merging image of the flags of the republics of Armenia and France. The author of the sketches is Harutsun Samuelian. The commemorative coin was minted at the Polish mine. The nominal value of the silver commemorative coin is 1,000 drams. The commemorative coin was minted in a batch of 1,000 pieces. On the obverse side of the commemorative coin of Yervan Kochar, the great Armenian artist sculpture, the founder of special painting, is Kochar's portrait of Meline, painting an Arabian Yervan special painting. On the reverse is a portrait of Kochar, a scene from the painting The Ban of War, and the sculpture, Melancholy. The author of the sketches is Karin Melikan. The nominal value of the silver commemorative coin is 100 dram. The commemorative coin was minted in a batch of 500 pieces. The French Armenian Seraphian family donated their copy of the first printed Armenian Bible to Mashtots Matenadaran. The memory book belonged to the great grandfather of the donating family, priest Hakob Boyajan, who was a military priest in Ayantab. The ancestors of the Seraphians who survived the genocide against Armenians handed down the Voskan Bible from generation to generation, and the sacred relic was buried in Matenadaran. In the archive of Martin Adaran is stored a photo of priest Hakob, who participated in the defense of Ayan Tap City in 1920, holding a sword and a weapon. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.